Hi there, and welcome to the first video of the Copycat series. We at the Cables team decided it'd be a nice idea to try and find some stuff that we thought was really cool visually and to recreate that inside of Cables. So we're going to start off today with trying to recreate something that's from one of my favorite games, Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous has this really nice effect on the loading screen where you see the ship and it's outlined in orange and you have this nice glow and if you look at different ships you get kind of different effects. I just really loved this and I thought it was a really great simple thing to start off with for the copycat series. So I'd also like to say thanks to Panda for showing me how to get this done because I was a little bit stuck with it. So let's get started. So we're going to go to our cables patch here. Uh, first of all I'm going to set up with a main loop and now I'm going to plug this into a sequence op. And now I just want to get going with a basic spaceship model that I downloaded. So um, I now need to get this uh, model. So I'm going to look for the OBJ object that's here. And I'm going to pull that in. As you can see, files being uploaded. And what I'm interested in here is the JSON file. The original object file has to be converted into a format that cables can use. So great, here we go. Here's a ship. Now let's add an orbit control. So I can just see what's happening. Great, there it is. And before I forget, it's very important, and this will be added later on, this model was downloaded uh, from here by this user. Credits will be given later. Okay, so how do we now go around about making this effect that we saw like in Elite Dangerous? So we're going to have to do a couple of uh, image compose layers here. So first of all, I want to make a full screen rectangle. And I want to render the current scene to a texture. So I do this now. I get the texture out and I put it there a little bit aliasing going on. So we crank this up to eight and we get our smooth lines back. Let's make the ship a little bit bigger so we can see what's happening. Great. Okay. So let's move this over here. We now want to make a second pass. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to create an image compose op. And then I'm going to make a draw image op. I'm now going to plug this into edge detection. And I'm now going to use the texture preview window here. One moment. Just get a bit of stuff on the screen now. Now, obviously, I have to plug this in here. There we go. So now I'm using Texture Preview, and now I can see the Edge Detection version. By clicking here, I can go over there. So let me just plug this in there, because I just want to see it big for a moment so I can tweak it. So if we look at Edge Detection, I can control the amount here. So let's just leave it on one for now. Um, I'm now going to add a blur. And I'm going to put this on, say, two, maybe three, two for now. OK, now I'm going to need another image compose channel. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to make image compose. And then I'm going to do a draw image. And I'm now going to grab the original texture output and plug that in here. Let's plug that in there so we can see what's happening. So this is the matcap view there. Now I'm going to go here and I'm going to add another edge detection. Now I'm going to go here and I'm going to add another draw image. And this will allow me to add this back in. And now let's put this on add. There we go. And now I'm going to go to color and I'm going to put this on multiply. 
And I'm going to make it this kind of like orangey red, a little bit like what we saw in the video. Now I'm going to add interlacing. As you can see, we now get these scan lines effects. A little bit heavy, but it's just to show what's going on. And now I'm going to just add good old fashioned vignettes over here. I'm not really going to see too much of that, I think. Yeah, we can just add a bit there just to fade it in. So now we want to rotate the model, obviously. So I'm going to go over here, move this down. And then I'm going to add a transform up. And I want to rotate it on Y. So I'll go to rotate Y, pull it out, add a timer 2. I'm going to crank the speed up to, say, 10. And as you can see, we've now got a very basic recreation of the loading screen. So I can play with the blur factor here to pump it up a little bit. So as you can see, we can start to mix all these different parts together here. Interlace, can put the amount really heavy or really subtle. Put this there. As you can see, we can make it really big, but I don't like that. Let's put it on four. Okay. So, one last tweak, because it's all about the tweaking. Make the radius really subtle. Let's make the scale a bit bigger. Great. So, we've just recreated the loading screen from Elite Dangerous. This was the first video in the Copycat series. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them under the video below. I'll post them in the forum. Thanks for your time. Bye.